A big development today buys a little more time for struggling renters in Illinois. The ban on evictions extended 30 more days. CBS News' Marissa Parra, working for Chicago, joins us live. Marissa, some landlords lose another month now of collecting money. Brad, it'll soon be one full year of moratoriums on evictions that just keep getting extended one after another after another. And while this might seem like good news for renters, it could actually be putting Chicago's housing industry at risk. The pandemic has created a unique challenge, keeping the housing market stable while preventing further homelessness for furloughed renters while keeping landlords from going under. Both Lori Quist and Michael Zink are attorneys who represent both housing providers and tenants. Who do you think has it worse? I think they both have uh, quite a uh, challenge, uh, both currently as well as ahead of them. CBS News reports that roughly 10 million renters around the country are behind on their payments, adding up to a loss of around $57 billion. According to a survey by Chicago's Neighborhood Building Owners Alliance, 71% of landlords surveyed in September said they had tenants behind on rent. That number rose to 79% just three months later. Many of them are struggling. Many of them will face foreclosure, um, often dipping into their own savings as well to make sure all the bills are paid. And the majority of Chicago's landlords are considered small mom and pop operations. Many of them say they're unable to keep up with building maintenance. A lot of desperation from landlords just trying to figure out how to put food on their table to feed their own families right now. She fears without help for landlords, not only will they suffer, but in the long run, renters will still suffer too. They're going to have to recoup that money somehow. That means they're going to what? Double rent? Triple rent? Regarding that moratorium extension, Governor Pritzker said today he's going to be looking at how much that state is going to adjust, and that depends on how much federal aid we get that's currently being debated in Congress. Reporting live along the lakefront, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News.